Welcome, I am John Libra, and in this demo, the objective is to show you how I will create an SQL data service using Informatica Developer, and this is part one. I'm gonna make use of existing data objects that I have already defined. Also, I'll show you how I can query this SQL data service using select statements. The, this service could be deployed it could be used by third-party tools such as Microsoft Excel, Squirrel, and other tools using ODBC and JDBC. Let's get started. Notice that what I have here, I have Informatica Developer already opened, and I have various data objects. Under the physical, I have various tables, relational tables, and I also have some flat files. What I'm going to do is create a SQL data service based on, say, the DIM customer, if you look at some of the columns. And of course, you can actually go ahead and run Data Viewer and see the data, but I won't do that in this demo. Then, so that's one table. And then I'm also gonna create the SQL ser service using some flat files. That is the power of a SQL data service that an end user can use it as a data object, whereas in fact, physically, it may be disparate databases and flat files. So here is something called UV customer, it's just a table. Notice there's a customer key and there's a nation key. If I look at the data here, you'll see that nation key has a number and the UV nation, if I, when I open it, given that key will show me which country. So a nation key of zero is Algeria if a nation key of 15 would be Morocco, etc. So that's a very brief view of the data. Let me close this. And now what I'm gonna do under the consolidation shared project folder, what I'm gonna do is say new, and I am gonna create a new data service. And this is gonna be a SQL data service. And let me give it a name. I'm gonna call this SQL DS for best practice. And I'm just gonna call this uh, customer consolidation. Okay, let's assume that I'm trying to create this master uh, database of customers. And I basically go to next and notice where it says I can add virtual tables to the SQL data service. I'm gonna say stop now. I'm not gonna add them there. Notice that what I have is an overview and schema. What I'm gonna do is now go ahead and select the DM customers. Now this is a demo. I could select many objects. Here I'm just gonna select this relational table DM customers and also go to the flat file UV customer and the flat file nation. And I'm just gonna drag and drop them. And notice here it is. It's as if I had added one by one but dragging and dropping added all three of them. The name, the data object itself, the kind of object it is, whether it's a physical data object or a logical data type, and basically the information. Notice the access is read, and I am done. I'm pretty much done. Now I wanna test this, and what I'm gonna do here is just move this a little bit higher, and notice I'm gonna run Data Viewer, but this is a little bit different. This here is I have the, the when I click on Data Viewer, it's a select statement. So let me just quickly do this. Select star from dim customers and run it. So instead of Data Viewer, where it would show me the rows and records, here, because this is a SQL data server service, I enter a select statement, and you see on the right-hand side, now let me do one more. Okay, that's a database, so that's pretty easy. But what if I say select from UV underscore customer and UV underscore nation, where what I have here is what I have here is UV customer customer dot nation. Remember they both have this key in it, is equal to UV nation dot nation key. Assuming I don't make a typo, let me run this and let's see what it produces. There it is on the right hand side. So you see 
I'm actually able to use this as if it were a database object, where in fact it isn't. It's one database object along with two flat files, but an end user using it or a third party tool using it could query it as, as if it were a database. Now, let me just caution you. At this point, I'm done. I will just save all. And now I have my SQL service. The next part of this demo will show you how I can actually deploy this so that it can be used by third party tools. So this is part one, creating an SQL data service. Stay tuned for part two on actually deploying and using this service when it is deployed under Informatica Developer. Thank you.